30.5 CKTS Jayco Eagle HT just landed here. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, 9,295 pounds as seen here. Understand that weight could vary based on equipment presence, such as the second air conditioner that we're going to find on this one in this video that may not be on the one that we have in stock. Uh, kind of like the decor, there are two wildly different decors available on Jayco's. So always call our team to verify what we have, how it's equipped to make sure it's the right one for you folks, because it could be very different from this video. Uh, so this gives us zero to 100 degree proven tested functionality with some of the very best cold testing data out there in this category. I think Jayco actually is the very best tested. Um, and we've got those big dual opposing living room slides, but with all those big windows on the door side of the RV so that you get a good look at your campsite, not the neighbors. Let's step inside. I think you're gonna like what you see. And the game has changed. Eagle has changed the playing field with their new decor options. And when we open the slides up, we'll talk all about that in great detail. But before we get there, I wanted to show you a quick uh, you know, set of footage with the slide closed in this just gorgeous modern farmhouse interior decor. I actually saw the prototypes of these when they were on the line and uh, before it was even produced, I, I was like, you guys are, you're gonna change things. Everyone's gonna copy this real fast. So what I like here is travel accessibility. You can get to all the freezer and at, at a glance you think, oh, I can get to half the fridge. But if you notice, there's no like central divider in the fridge so you can get around. But what's also nice as you can still get to the uh, this side of the dining over here. So if you do need to sit down and have a little sandwich or something, you can do that. Now, of course, like you know, any good fifth wheel, you can still get to the bedroom and the bathroom in transit. So that's pretty handy. Now let's open this up and learn all about the just shockingly new decor they have going on here. And there is just nothing else like this. This has that beautiful modern interior decor and styling that is just really hot and popular in residential construction right now. And it's really interesting to me to see uh, a Jayco product, which traditionally they were always that um, conservative, slow to adapt, trusty, like infantry soldier type RV. You know, they always got the job done well. Maybe they weren't always the newest, edgiest, flashiest. And all that went out the window. And it's almost like Eagle has become the proving and testing ground for other things at Jayco because stuff like the smart lighting feature we're going to learn about outside, that really all began in the Eagle series and it's making its way through the rest of Jayco. Eagle's really leading the way to be one of the major trendsetters at Jayco and the industry. So let's get rolling here. We've got a lot to cover. Uh, we've got a uh, dual bank, double row, high intensity LED lighting, and it's actually got a, a touch sensitive dimmer switch here, which is very nice for like evening uh, time viewing. But what's neat is you can kind of, you know, leave it about halfway down, halfway up. You can leave it wherever you want and it'll remember that position. So, you know, the lights don't get too bitey at night. You'll also find a, a matching one of those uh, LED uh, light switches up here. They used to be located on the wall and sometimes people would accidentally sort of trigger it. So they moved it up here where it's out of the way, but it's still very easy to access. And if you do need to dim those lights or you just want a little bit of a night light feature, you can activate that. I these light fixtures are just so cute. I love these. They really, uh, like I said, they fit that sort of farmhouse theme very well. And you see the like the little distressed accents through the wood tones here. Now I have good news again. If, uh, if, if you like this, good news. Congratulations, we have it. If you dislike this, they still offer what's called the American Tradition Decor, which will be that uh, like very neutral cream vanilla wood tone with you know the brown furniture. You're probably gonna find that a lot in bunk houses. But ladies and gentlemen, I would really love some feedback. Please leave some feedback in the video description. Do you like this? Or do you prefer the traditional? Or do you like which decor do you like in a couple's coach versus a, a bunkhouse camper? Because my suspicion is this is going to be very popular in couples models, but we're going to see that more traditional, darker look be more popular in bunkhouses so that people don't worry about the kids having stuff on their fingers and wiping it on the wood tones. But that's a guess. I would love to get some feedback from you folks, and you've never steered me wrong. Thank you for helping me do a better job for you. We're going to come back to the kitchen. Uh, we weren't, oh shoot, we weren't done with the ceiling. We've got a standard 15,000 BTU central air system here, but you don't see it. And if you don't see the square, then you don't hear the air because this has whisper ducted AC that knocks down a whole bunch of noise so you don't have to crank the TV up to 11 to hear each other. Thank you, good night. Over here, entertainment center. Down below, 
We've got a remote controlled electric space heating fireplace over here in this carpetless kitchen slide. So, you know, God forbid you drop an egg, you're not dropping it in the carpet because that's terrible. Um, that can be an electric heater as the name indicates, but it can also just be visibly pretty. It's got a remote control here. Now it's neat. You don't realize it, but in a way, the uh, like you can see this dedicated kitchen pantry that we're next to. But what you may not kind of realize right away is the kitchen uh, storage, in a sense, can kind of be extended through the entertainment center because with this double jointed swing arm that we have down here, the TV almost acts like a door to another pantry. Now here's something really clutch I like to point out, and this is how there's a lot of nice RVs out there, ladies and gentlemen. Every RV is the best in a different way, but Eagle goes further, and here's what I mean. So they've uh, been doing this for a while. They're stereo, Bluetooth, DVD, you've heard those words a hundred times, but face-mounted HDMI and USB plugs for like streaming sticks. The other thing is they were one of the first manufacturers to actually run HDMI wiring to the TV. So a lot of brands weren't doing that. The other thing here is let's say you want to upgrade and add like a satellite or a Blu-ray or something. They actually run additional HDMI wires just so that you can do that, but have it maybe up here over here, behind the TV, out of the way. And it's not that you couldn't go on Amazon and spend the eight, nine bucks to get that high def cable there from China. It's that you don't have to, and you no longer have to try to fish that through the cabinetry. Jayco did it for you, they went further. Now, we've got uh, pretty good guest sleeping right here, if we take a look. The uh, Obviously, we've got the trifold high to bed sleeper sofa right here, but you see that we've got uh, you'll have either recliners or a theater seat. There's different seating options available. And it's interesting, in our Jayco's, we've had a lot of people want recliners. And in almost every other brand of fifth wheel we carry, they want a theater seat right here. The end result is the same. You have reclining seating and uh, direct-facing entertainment straight to that HD uh, uh, TV. However, this gives you the ability to have individual seating comfort without like one of you shifts, it doesn't like bump into the other person. But before I get too far past, there is something I want to point out back here on each side of the hide bed And that is both sides of uh, the hide bed have their own stands with both household and USB outlets. So no matter where you're seating uh, or sleeping, you've always got a place to keep a phone charged up, to keep a CPAP machine running, etc. Now, as we're looking up here, I want to point out that all of our windows are fully trimmed out. And what that does is it looks neat. It just looks really cool. But a passive benefit I don't think they intended is it gives these nice pleated nightshades something to really bite into right here. So that if you want full privacy, you really have it. And notice that even these toothpick windows open for ventilation. Every window opens for ventilation, including that hallway window. A lot of brands don't give you that hallway window because it's expensive. But it gives uh, this Eagle greater sense of light, space. It gives it that open, bigger feel. Um, the uh, dining table over here. This does a couple cool different things. So this is a couple's coach. But, uh, uh, you know, if you do have guests, it comes with a pair of fold-away guest chairs that you can bring out. And it kind of, I call it a dining desk because you've got like a an easy lift, like gas threaded top on this that can open up to create like a desk space. And there's also an extension leaf on there for additional guests. Now, when you're not using those guest chairs, and I have one of those pulled out currently and one of them tucked away, they fit very neatly, 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 that'll go in the bloopers reel, nice and neatly. Neatly is a combination of nice and neatly, crap. That's going in my definitionary. Anyway, you get the idea. Look at this. I just I just noticed this. So Eagle has celebrated its silver anniversary, 25 years of Eagle production. So they put, this is a nod to that. This is a clever little nod to people who know the history of Eagle that we've got a, a silver framed Eagle in silver print with backlighting around it just to make it go, ha! You hear the choir of angels sing down upon this thing. Little detail stuff too, like better materials. Hardwood not MDF foam. There's nothing necessarily wrong with MDF slide fascia. It is lighter weight. But 100% of the time, if I've ever asked a person, would you prefer to have foam or wood? They always say, well, I would most definitely like wood. And that's also one of the reasons that uh, really not just Eagle, but Jayco as a whole just goes plywood crazy. Like this is hyper uncommon in that it has uh, not just plywood floor decking, tongue and groove 5 8 plywood floor decking, but also tongue and groove 3 8 uh, roof decking that, that ties into Jayco's Magnum Trust roof system. We'll talk more about that when we go outside. But again, would you rather have something built out of plywood or OSB? There's nothing necessarily even wrong with OSB, 
but what's your preference? And 10 times out of 10, people say plywood. So we're looking at the kitchen here, and it's beautiful. The modern, this is, with the, the greatest concentration of cabinetry in the camper, the modern farmhouse decor is most visible here as compared to anyone else. But man, when the sucker opens up, do you get some storage. Then the cabinets open up, and holy cow, this has the kitchen storage of something like it's, you know, like a, a, a big brother, cousin, whatever you want to call it, Jayco North Point. This has incredible storage, and anywhere you see countertop space, you're going to find storage below it. So we have great prep space, plenty of outlets all over here. I love this pantry built right into the slide out. That just Im immediately makes everything readily available to the campsite cook. And notice that your overhead doors are self-strutted, so they hold themselves open and you don't have to do the uh, juggle. You know, it's very one-hand friendly. Now this new microwave, it, it, I looked around at it for about five seconds, I'm like, how, how do you how do you open it? And you actually just pull the face of it open. It's just got such a just gorgeous, high-end, modern look and appeal to it. I do like the extra counter prep space in that breeze window right here in the uh, the kitchen. And that is a breeze window, not just like a viewing porthole. And uh, you can see how the stovetop has been flush mounted to maximize our potential prep space here. Now, over here in the slide, we've got five big full extension plywood box drawers. And uh, they're all beveled edges on top, so they're not going to be splinter factories. Um, and uh, next to this, you can see the 12 cubic foot gas electric fridge freezer upgrade. Standard refrigerator in this would be an 8 cubic foot fridge. We like to upgrade to the 12 in this one because this floor plan is really good for people who uh, they've got that three quarter ton truck and they want the big living room but they're not looking for the extra, extra, extra large fifth wheel. So this is kind of that awesome in-between point, and this floor plan is extremely popular doing it. Now you can see that we've just got all kinds of cabinet space up here, but there's something over here I want to point out, because this is new at the time of this filming. You see this vertical black thing. What is that? Well, it's basically a prep mount for a specific Furion uh, portable Bluetooth speaker. It's like a, a charge point and whatnot, but it's also got dual USB plugs. So it is also like a, a phone charger and you see the household outlet back there for stuff like coffee makers or blenders or whatever. Now over here, this is just classic Eagle doing Eagle things. You see this big closet. You can see those coat hooks right there. But some people are going to say, yeah, that's not tall enough for a coat hook. Well, don't worry. Eagle's got you covered. You can either use this as a coat closet or additional cabinet space in here if you really need to maximize every square possible inch for uh, prep uh, or, well, you know, storage space. And then we've got our island. And this is a big island and it offers just a whole ton of storage. And you can see that you got area for just those massive, like those bigger 40 gallon waste baskets, extra drawer right in the kitchen, and just uh, big pots and pan storage potential. But one other thing I want to zero on in here in the kitchen is actually the newer updated countertops. Instead of a, uh, a very nice looking but T molded countertop, they've gone to a sealed edge press membrane called thermofoil countertops. And you see that we do have a recessed uh, sink. And you can see how there's no seams in here where water's going to penetrate through. But you've also got this handy little roll-away drying rack for dishes, as well as this beautiful bamboo sink cover right here. It's lightweight, it's extremely strong, and it's an ideal cutting board, uh, you know, made with food-grade purposes in mind. Which just, yet again, in this class and category, Eagle just does more, better, and smarter. And now, I guess you could say more beautiful-er. <laughs> As we progress up the hallway from the entry door to the bed and bathroom upper deck, I want to take a minute to point out here, we've got our, you know, like privatized command center here. And by the way, have you noticed how all the cabinetry is hidden hinge? Everything again is just nicer. In this category, you tend to get a lot of visible hinge cabinets. What I like about hidden hinges is like right here's a good example. If this cabinet door bounced open while you're going down the road, well, it could get caught behind the slide flange and when you cl open the slide out, it could crush that cabinet door. Except for the fact that hidden hinges, they help prevent that. Because even if it somehow popped open, it likes to close itself without anybody helping it. That's something that I like. By the way, guys, um, like these Bluetooth speakers are not included with these Eagles. And you can get them off Amazon. I'll drop you the link if you want me to. I don't care. We I don't even know if we have in our part shop. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. If you flat out don't care about the whole Bluetooth speaker thing, here's kind of the cool part. This is cheaper 
uh, less money than just a USB plug. So that's what's kind of cool, is you're never losing anything, you just gain an enhanced potential functionality. Now, not only do we have a physical command center for all of our bells and whistles and whiz bangs, but we've also got this little uh, USB charging touchscreen remote, and these have been in the industry for a while, but a lot of people still aren't aware of them. But what's neat, you can operate things like awning lights, your slide outs, your stabilizers, your landing gear, and that's a neat thing on these, is you can be in your vehicle, you can back up to your RV with this in hand, and you can raise and lower the nose of the RV with this in your hand right here to make hitching on this a simple one-person job. You don't have any more of that, yep, back up, wait, no, stop, let, no, yep, no, and this just makes it easier. One person can do it. These are uh, prepped for both side mount and roof solar, and we'll talk more about that outside. But that's just a neat thing, uh, a neat little reminder for folks. We have an easy dual entry bathroom, so it uh, doesn't matter what side of the bed you sleep on, you can get in here easy, and you can do this without losing any privacy in the bathroom. So the bedroom slide actually continues here through the bedroom or bathroom to give us extra pant or geez, oh Pete's. It's hot, and I've done a lot of videos, and I'm tired. Whew! Okay, thanks for hanging on with me here. I almost had a meltdown there. All right. Lots of floor space in here because the linen cabinet is off the floor plan. And since they got the linen cabinet off the floor plan, they were able to have that extra uh, pass-through door here. And by the way, this is a sliding door right here, a sliding wall. I've had someone say, I can't believe they didn't put a door right there. Well, they did. It's just not obvious from my current point of view. Here's a little detail thing, and it's easier to talk about this when we're up near it. Jayco spends more money on their AC system. So not only is it whisper quiet with their helix ducting system, which means more airflow and less noise, but you can not you can do more than just even open and close these vents you can also turn them so where i like that is up in the bedroom cuz i like to have cold air blowing on me my wife doesn't and uh you know maybe that's why she calls me a blowhard anyway <laughs> i digress moving on We've got a big corner radius shower here, and what I like about it is the shower uh, pan is actually, the plumbing's recessed in the floor, so the shower pan's ground level. There's no big step up here. And then you've got the little blue LED night light. And especially in, uh, with all the like light tones that we have in the bathroom here, it will make this bathroom really glow at night, and the skylight makes this extra tall. Like, to give you an idea, guys, um, I'm actually standing in a part of the bathroom where the roof has actually begun to taper a little bit, and there's still plenty of headroom in here. And again, uh, the shower doesn't make you step up at all. Now, I uh, just this is this ties right into that uh, silver eagle eagle frame is the uh, the vanity here, but it's also got what I call the backlit morning mirror. It's got indirect LED lights pointing backwards so that if you wake up in the morning or at night and you need to look at the mirror, you don't have to blind yourself. This is a real tile backsplash, right? by the way, and this is the same type of countertops we talked about in the kitchen, that uh, waterproof style countertop that allows for uh, recessed sinks. That's a big adult size sink right there too. Um, pretty good here. Let's move on. Oh, by the way, a locking bathroom door. I point that out because once again, that's a detail not every brand seems to cover. Now, in this class and category, people say, does it have the step up by the bed? Because they're remembering those old 9, 10 inch step ups around the bed. This has a tiny little nub around the bed, nothing that's going to kill you. And uh, again, what this allows for is big basement storage, but still big under bed storage. Speaking of beds, this is an easy lift uh, bed right here. And this is an 80 inch residential queen. So you do have excellent uh, length on this. You've got your dual side stands with household outlets. You've got dual element blue white uh, LED reading lamps right above your head there. Now keep in mind, remember that the one in this video could be different from the one in stock. This one right here, we have optioned on the second air conditioner. Uh, that is not a standard piece of equipment. This is a 15,000 BTU air though. This has the same 30,000 BTU dual centralized air capacity of a North Point, a Pinnacle, anything. This has maximum cooling power in this category. So again, kind of like the decor, what I would like from you folks at home, do me a favor, in this class and category in the Midwest, it's not traditional to have a second air installed in one of these. I wanted to take a risk. I brought one in with a second air in here. I would love some feedback. I would love to know if in this size, would you like a second air installed? Or would you just like 50 amp with the ability to have a second air installed? I'd be curious to know the answer there. Um, uh, on the opposing wall, we do have our TV hookups right here. And did you notice that uh, you've also got this full closet storage slide out here when we were looking at the underbed storage? You know what else you get though? is a breeze-through window in the bedroom in, uh, inside of 
that closet slide. And that is one of those eagle-centric features where, once again, they've just done a little bit more than anybody else to take it up another level. And I can't believe nobody has really copied that on a large-scale basis because that's an awesome feature. Now, what's neat is despite how wildly different that looked inside, virtually nothing has changed from the previous generation. Eagle has been on fire good service records, amazing sales records, their floor plans are great, uh, their equipment and feature package in this category is unrivaled. I do not believe there's another brand of fifth wheel in a competitive category that has the features, amenities, and equipment of an Eagle. That being said, that does mean they're not the lightest and least expensive brand. So they're kind of more that, instead of casual use, more that, uh, you know, more frequent board. Some people full time in this floor plan. This is very full time capable. The construction's going to hold up, not a problem. But, uh, you know, that retirement grade type coach, that's more what we're looking at here. Maybe not your first one, but if you've got good taste, good be your first one and stay till your last one. Now, uh, we've already talked about that remote control that can operate the awnings. Uh, I want to look at the, the basement in here real quick because, once again, they've done some things that separate it. Like you've got the this heavy duty industrial rubberized flooring in here instead of that felt carpet stuff. There is none of that felt carpet stuff in here. They just don't do it at, in Jayco fifth wheels. And uh, I, I'm really happy that none of that is up here. Um, as we take a peek up, I want to point out this is a good time to talk about the uh, insulation package. And there's a lot of false information out there about our values in the RV business. Um, Again, in this category, there is no manufacturer who has ever produced better testing data in hot, cold camp simulations than Jayco. This is the best insulated fifth wheel in its class. Doesn't mean that there aren't other ones that are zero degree uh, proven, but at zero degrees, Jayco's have a higher temperature rating in the underbelly in this class and category. Now you see the all, uh, basically they have a one piece upper deck structure and you can see it's double sided vertical welded and they use thicker upper deck cross members. And they also use a double sided thermal foil up here because that's a superior insulator from this single layer, what's called, uh, we call it like hot dog paper type stuff. That yeah, stuff's okay, it's a good reflective barrier. This is just better. Now you've got motion sensitive lighting, uh, not just uh, on this side, but also on the other side of the RV because you use both sides of the pass through, don't you? So why do most brands only give you one light on this side? And that's because of cost reasons. We still have TV hookups. We have another of those little portable Bluetooth speaker charger mounts with the USB plug. So now it's more phone charger friendly outside than it's been before. And this throws a lot of people off. But they put the speakers down here in the skirt, and it's so, so smart. Because this is probably closest to the, where you're going to have your picnic table. It allows you to uh, be able to hear your speakers at a lower volume without blowing the neighbors away. And uh, you also have a uh, LED indirect light down here um, that I don't have on currently because it's daytime. But they leave you a step light switch out here. So you don't have to go up the steps in the dark turn on the light at the control panel, come back down the steps, and shut the door. Because that's dumb. This is smart. Eagle's smarter. We keep talking about that. Uh, the aluminum plank entry steps, they're lighter weight than the old steel ones. They work better. They don't corrode. Um, they're also easier to see at night. And the biggest thing is they're not slippery. Oh, 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 oh. Slam latches on here, but you've got a full outside shower on the other side. They include just an extra little cold water sprayer port over here that uh, can hook up to a residential fitted end. And Basically, it's ideal for like campsite cleanup. Like my kid loves a bubble machine, but God bless it if that doesn't leave a sticky bubble mess everywhere. Having a little hose to kind of help wash that up is darn nice. Um, let's talk about smart lighting. Eagle Smart Lighting Package. They are the ones that uh, first debuted this. So it stands for Signals, Markers, and Reverse Travel. What it means in English, as pretty as that phrasing is, is that um, as you turn on your turn signal, Extra front and rear clearance lights and all matching side marker lights will blink along with your turn signals so that other drivers on the road have the best, clearest understanding of your intentions. And that's a thing that you see on semi-trucks every day of the week. Why is, why is this the first time we've ever seen it in the RV industry? Why is Jayco the only one doing it? Because, again, they're willing to do not just what has to be done, but more. And that's who these guys are. Jayco never does enough. They only know how to do more. And if you ever see their construction through their plant tour, you would see that's also true. Before we talk about that, though, I want to talk about this. This is an optional piece of equipment, the Orbital. So there are the shock dampening pin boxes, and then there are the pivoting revolution style pin boxes. And this is the one that does both. 
And again, Eagle, first to bring that to market. We've got room for four batteries up front. So if you're gonna do that uh, you know, dry camping type thing, you're gonna have that extra power reserve available there without having to modify the, the coach to like make room for that stuff. Now, I, I just mentioned how they, they build a heavier construction, especially in this upper deck. And case in point, you don't see a vertical piece of trim right here covering a pre-cracked piece of fiberglass. That is because on all Jayco fifth wheels, they have a thicker, heavier box tube steel upper deck with little side flanges that come out to support the sidewalls, just like sidewall outriggers on the rest of the coach. What that means is that it's a little bit heavier up front. Jayco's Eagles are not known for having the lightest pin weights, but they are known for having some of the most heavy duty construction in their class and category kind of case in point right there is a good example. Now uh, over here, uh, I mentioned the insulation package, but standard, this does have a forced air heated and closed insulated underbelly, insulated slides, extra insulation on the roof that does wrap all the way down the nose cap and even above the pin box. And that right there, that's an area that a lot of brands miss. They don't insulate above the pin box. Just annoys me, obviously. I just get annoyed by that. So I like that the doors are self-strutted over here under the slide. You don't have to duck under them, because that's dumb and Eagle smart. They also have a, a simple water docking station right here for like an outside shower, your cable TV, water inlet, etc. Um, it's very, like I said, very simple as the name kind of implies. And if I can get this done with my left hand, you can leave your hose that's kind of sticking out of this and keep this locked down. Um, now, SantaCon is an optional piece of equipment and it is absolutely fantastic. And you may not know much about it, but long story short, you can see it's got this nice little waste exhaust handle and the built-in hose on it. This is you know what this is? This is a like a garbage disposal for a kitchen sink, but for your black tank and gray sewer system. In English, guys, it's got a power macerator, meaning it chews up solid mass. And what that means is that it exhausts uh, the waste material more quickly. And since the hose and everything is built in, you don't actually have to deal with a like manual hookup hose. A lot of people are really scared and freaked out about that. 100% of customers we have talked to that have bought SantaCon on their Jayco's have reported positive uh, feedback. That's pretty remarkable considering the number of eagles that we have sold. It is, it is awesome. Now it's neat guys, God forbid, something happens, it does have a manual bypass. And if you are looking at an RV, uh, J, uh, like an eagle somewhere, or we have one in stock that for some reason does not have SantaCon, it is prepped for it, it can be added. Um, here's the best in class feature, and this is standard you don't have to pay extra for this, is that Eagles are ideal for towing. If you're going to be doing some triples towing, this comes standard with a factory installed, factory warranted, guaranteed uh, 3,000 pound towing hitch with 300 pound tongue limit. And do you notice that they even run the wiring for you? You don't even have to spend extra money wiring, so you don't have to cut into the wire looms and, and piggyback off taillights. They do that for you. There's a lot of brands out there that want to talk about their three-year structural warranties. And some of them are great. Don't get me wrong. Some of the structural warranties really do have good coverage. Some of them don't. Some of them don't cover spit. Well, if you want to do some triples towing on those, you're going to avoid that fancy pants three-year structural warranty. Not on a Jayco. So uh, they don't do a three-year structure warranty, but they do a, a two-year full RV warranty, which covers a lot more big expensive things than the, the structural warranty, which is generally speaking things that aren't known for failure. So this offers more coverage on the RV than anybody else. And they're also building it so that you don't fail. You wanna put a bike rack on the back? Great, there's a receiver hitch. You wanna tow? There's a hitch. No big deal, no sweat. We are backup camera ready. Whether you're looking for uh, observation or just a simple backup camera who got it. Frameless windows are an optional piece of equipment upgraded here with sliding side wall windows on your slides to give you excellent airflow. And uh, you've got fully laminated slide walls on here and you can bang and pound on this all over the place. What I like about this is it's solid, it's structural, it's insulated. If an RV doesn't have laminated slide walls, it doesn't mean it's a bad camper. It means that it could be and I encourage you to do a little more research. Now, here's another best in class feature, Goodyear Endurance Radials. Rated for up to 87 miles per hour and they only need up to 80 PSI uh, input so that you don't have to uh, like go to a specialty industrial tire shop to get 120 PSI put in your tires or anything. We are also looking at larger upgraded 16 inch radials and if you notice Eagles actually have an adjustable suspension system. That is how Eagle can be anywhere from small truck 
to big truck capable, assuming the truck in question has the proper tow capacities and payload capacities to handle this. But there's a lot of folks who have, want to buy an Eagle HT, and they want to uh, do the full-time retirement thing, they want to travel for a few years, and they want a big truck to do that because they're going to be on the road a lot. Bigger tires, taller adjustable suspension makes that possible. Now, not only do we put the Moride Orbital pin box on this, but standard, this has the Moride Rubber Shock Dampening Suspension System exactly like Big Brother North Point, exactly like its Big Brother Pinnacle. So, that's kind of the thing with Eagle. If you go one step above this category and look at that equipment package, that's what you're going to find on an Eagle. So it's something kind of like the shape and size of a Cougar, but with the equipment package of a North Point. That's what these guys are. That means they are not the lightest. That means they are not the least expensive. But dang it if they are not the most heavily equipped thing in their category. And there's one other neat little thing, well two neat things actually I want to show you up on the roof real quick. So at a glance on the roof there's not much to see, but what I want to talk about is a few things. A couple things you can see and then a couple things you can't see. Let's start with the more interesting things we can see first. All Eagles, even HTs, are prepped for roof mount solar. So if you do want to do some off-grid camping, you want to install some solar panels, Eagle's one of the very best for it, and they give you plenty of open real estate if you just want to go panel crazy up here. Additionally, this is kind of one of the unsung heroes of the Eagle family, is their bathroom fan. They have a very different bathroom fan. It looks kind of wonky to look at it, but it's one of these fans that can be used in the rain and that's pretty darn cool. So if it is a rainy day and you need fresh airflow, you're good to go. Another little detail thing is their 360 siphon uh, top on their um, sewer like chimney exhaust right here. Basically guys, it's like an inverted airplane wing and it, it pushes and pulls more air. And what this means is that you get superior odor exhaust and control from your black tank. The guys who make this, they say, you don't even have to treat your black tank. now. That being said, I'm still gonna treat mine. But, anyone who's had this, one of these, I've never heard somebody in an Eagle say, I'm having trouble with my black tank back uh, filling uh, odors through my RV. I don't seem to have that happen. Now, something that you can't see is what's under the skin. And so much of the value of a Jayco is what you can't see. So, their Magnum Truss roof system here is a good example of something where they've done more, but you can't see it and it's hard to appreciate it. People go, oh, it's, it's a wood truss roof. Yeah, and that's not bad because you can build a much heavier duty wood truss roof because you can control thicknesses and things in a, a far different fashion. Long story short, Eagle's roof is rated for more weight than anybody else in this category. Anybody else even remotely close to this category. This is like a 4,500 pound rated roof. Um, it starts with tongue and groove plywood roof decking, which is almost unheard of in this business outside of Jayco. Then we have extra tall uh, trusses that are thicker, have bigger nail plates, so that uh, basically you don't have any grind points for wiring to get cut off. And uh, you know, the heavier construction continues down through the RV, like the floor has two by three aluminum studs below the 5 8 tongue and groove uh, plywood floor decking. Um, the, uh, the chassis on every Eagle, they are, uh, even that trailer over there, every, well really every Jayco, but uh, again, every Eagle, are custom cambered to the load demands of that floor plan. So that, you know, they don't use a general chassis. Every chassis that Jayco rides on is made only for them. And I think that's pretty darn cool stuff. Um, there's a lot more to learn about these guys. I've tried to give you a pretty good idea of who, what Jayco is, this floor plan, the Eagle, etc. But obviously, there's a lot of different things out there, and every single one of these is the best in a different way. They all have their unique story to tell. That's why we put these videos together. So if you'd like to learn more about anything that we have here at Haylet RV, don't hesitate to give us a call, and I don't care where you live, ladies and gentlemen. These things are built less than an hour from my front door. We don't pay $3,000 of shipping. If you need us to send it to the West Coast, to Texas, to Florida, we can do that. We do it all the time. The only way we can't do it is if you don't give us a call. All we need is the opportunity, and I think you're going to find out why people drive past other dealerships to come see us every single day. There goes another happy customer right now, pulling their trailer out back. So with that, take care, stay safe, have fun. Happy camping, everyone, and remember that Haywood RV only does everything, ranging from hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, but we don't do hidden dealer fees. That's nonsense. Nobody likes dealer fees.